Hello. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to use a TVM calculator found at fncalculator.com. And I'm going to show you how to use it. Uh, and we are going to use it to answer some uh, financial problems. So let's go to fncalculator.com website and follow this link to TVM calculator. Click on it. And it will bring up the TVM calculator app. I'm going to explain to you what all of these means. The first thing, it is a present value. This is the value of your investment initially, at the beginning of your investment. It could be a mortgage, could be a car, loan payments. The payment is the amount of money you want to invest uh, or pay down for your mortgage, your house, um, car loan payments, or any other uh, loans that you may have in the future. The future value is the how much money you have invested or how much money you have left to pay off in the loan mortgage. The annual rate is the interest at which the bank or a financial institution gives you um, an interest or you will have to pay that interest to the financial inst institution for a loan. Period is the amount of time uh, your interest is being accumulated or compounded. And the compounding is the ter determines how often the bank takes interest from you. If you click on this box, um, the bank can take annually once a year, semi-annual twice a year, quarterly four times a year, monthly 12 times a year, semi-monthly, semi-monthly, um, 24 times, bi-weekly, every two weeks, every one week, daily, and um, this is the interest that the bank or a financial institution pays you if you are taking investment, or you will have to pay uh, when you are taking a loan. So now let's actually use this function uh, sorry, this application to answer some financial problems. So our first example is um, the following. What is what principal should you invest today at 4.6% per year, compounded semi-annually to have $6,500 three years from now? So this application is only using or only uses compounding interest. Whenever you are borrowing or you are investing money, um, the bank or the financial institution gives you interest on interest or takes interest on interest. That's what compounding means. So this application is used to calculate any problem using compound interest. So let's kind of dive in de deeply into this problem. This principal thing is actually your pr present value. And they're really asking for this present value. So we really don't know that yet. Um, so we know that it's going to be 4.6% per year. So we could actually type this in, 4.6% at the annual rate. And it's always given an annual rate. The interest rate is always annual. It's compounded semi-annually. That means twice per year, you are actually investing in this twice per year. The bank will pay, or per your uh, financial institution will pay you interest. So, so compounding is going to happen at semi annually. And you want to have $6,500 at the end of your investment. Well, that will be your future value. And it's very important that you know that it's a positive value because that's something you're going to get back. This happens after three years. Well, there's nothing here to put in for three years, except for the period. So this period is not the length of your investment, but how many times does the interest is being accumulated? How often? So on the side, we know that for three years, it's going to be accumulated and compounded every twice per year. So we're going to multiply three times two, it will give us six. So we're going to have six 
uh, compounding uh, periods. So that means this will happen six times. There are no payments that is going to be issued, or you're not going to be contributing. You're just going to, uh, you just want to find out how much money you're going to be investing um, so that at the end of those three years, we're going to get $6,500. So what we're we going to do is we're going to press the PVM button, that's the present value, or the principal, to find that. And let's get it. Okay, so we have to invest. And notice it's a minus value. Um, the reason why it's minus is because when you are investing, you are actually giving this money away to the bank. And often enough, that money is frozen. Um, depending on your um, investment um, account, but that is the money you're losing to the bank. So you're losing this money, you're lending this your money to a financial institution, you're losing it, but at the end of those three years, you are going to get a little bit way more. Well, not a little bit, uh, a little bit more. So your answer is actually, um, you see your, pr your principal, yeah, it will have to be, don't forget the uh, dollar sign. So you have to invest $6,671 in order to get, to get $6,500 after, after three years. Let's take a look at another example. In this example, if you invest uh, $2,000 today and uh, your bank uh, will compound your investment weekly at 3.25%, which is the percent is always annual. How much money will you have after five years? And then how much interest did you earn in total? So let's dive in into this. Let's dissect this. If you invest $2,000, well, what is that? Well, that is your present value, and it will compound it weekly at this annual rate and it's the interest rate is always annual so let's reset this app and uh, we know the present value is 2000 but because you're investing you have to put a negative value in front of um, this two thousand dollars because sort of you're you're investing this money you're losing this money for a short time now we don't care about payments you're not we're not putting down payments we're not invest we're not continuing on um, and adding payments monthly uh, to increase our investments. And our future value, this is what we're looking for. How much money will you have after five years? So that's what we're looking for. The annual rate is 3.5%. And the if you look at it, that uh, it's compounded weekly. So we're going to change this to weekly. But now we need to know how many times our interest rate is being compounded. So what are we going to do on the side is that we know that uh, there are 52 weeks in the year. And we know that we're going to have this for five years. So it's going to be compounded every week. And there are 52 weeks in the year. And we're going to multiply this by five. And we'll get 260 times. That means this is the time uh, that your interest is compounded. So we're going to have exactly 260 um, weeks in uh, the five years. So now we're looking for future value. So how much money will you have after five years? And so we're going to press the FV button. Notice that it's F future V value, uh, value, not volume. And we'll press. And we are going to get $2,382.35. So our answer is uh, $2,382.35. Um, at the end of five years. So this is a total money that we're going to have of our investment. But the next question is, how much interest did you earn? Well, interest is the money that the bank pays you 
to have investment, to have you invest in, in this financial institution. What it is, is that if we take your initial value, your principal value, which is $2,000, or actually, we take what you get at the end of this uh, uh, period, 2,382. This is the total that we're going to have. And we are going to subtract it uh, from the initial money that we invested for your principal amount. And uh, you will recognize that it's actually going to be $382.35. This is the interest you earn. This is the money that banks gives you for having, uh, for putting money into um, this investment. Wait, we're going to take a look at one more example. So in this example, um, if you invest $3,000, so right away that's your principal amount today, and your bank will compound your investment monthly um, at 2.5%, which is always annually means per year, how long will it take to double your investment? So that's a, a little bit of a tricky question because now we're looking for um, the time for us to invest this money. So what we're looking for really is the period. Um, so let's put this in. We know the present value is $3,000. This is something you have to invest. And don't forget that you have to put negative $3,000 because um, you're going to be sort of losing this money, giving that to the bank. Um, again, there's no payments. Future value is going to be doubled. It says doubled. So that means um, you're going to get 6000 back. You're going to double your investment. Our interest is 2.5%. And um, it is compounded monthly. Okay. So what we're looking for is actually our periods. So we're going to press the period button and see what do we get and we get three 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 zero six so does that mean that it takes us 333 years to double our investment not quite so this is this period is the amount of months that's what the compounding is the amount of months and and we are going to calculate uh, years, actually, for this. So how do we calculate years out of this? Well, we'll take 333, three, three, that's how many months they are, and divide this by 12. And we'll get 27.75 uh, years to double your investment. So that's, that's a lot of time. Um, often enough, we round off to the nearest year, which is about 20 years. So at this low interest rate, yeah, it will take a very long time to double your investment. That concludes our lesson. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed it. Uh, and definitely TVM um, calculator is a very powerful tool. And we're just scratching the surface of what it can do. Have a nice day.